What's going on, everybody? It is your boy here to give you guys this week's edition of Tabloids and Trending Topics with T. All right, I know I'm like, how many minutes late? Uh, I'm like, what, five, six minutes late? I'm sorry. Um, I'm so sorry. Shit happened. <laughs> <clears throat> But y'all know I just went back to work this week. What's up? So, you know, hey. A little rocky, a little rocky, but y'all, but I'm here. I, I was here. I'm back, all right? So, when like I said, also, <laughs> I've been trying to, what's up? Trying to get my other YouTube channel and shit together. And, you know, I am doing all right. Oh, Southside Shaking there. Howdy ho. So try to do a whole fucking lot with little bits of time. I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So So yeah, yeah, I'm trying to do a whole lot, get this shit together, but we are here, damn it. We are here. Alright. <laughs> are you cooking and listening? Okay, because here's the funny thing is when I get done, I'm actually gonna hook up some shit too. I am doing great. You know, before I get started, since y'all be so how the fuck are y'all? How are y'all doing this uh Sunday? Yeah, afternoon. How are y'all doing? Okay. Like I said, I just, and you know, weirdly enough, it is the Jewish holiday uh, Shavu over me. You just chilling. Okay, you doing grand. So it's a dairy field holiday. So I made some green beans and shit. I was hot in there. Ooh, hot in Arizona. I, I, can't, I can't be doing hot now. What's up? What's up? Cooking and drinking. <laughs> so, you know, I, I got some food that I need to start, you know, doing. I, I'm gr I am great. Okay, I'm great. <laughs> All right. So there is a lot to talk about, and some things that I didn't talk about last week. But I'm just like, fuck it. I'll talk about it this week. So as you all know, we gotta start with the heavy shit. So uh, <clears throat> want to send out you know prayers and all that good jazz to the family of uh, Kimbo Slice. He uh, passed away at 42. I believe he passed away on Tuesday. I had been searching, trying to figure out what was the legit cause, because a lot of people are uh, saying that it had something to do with steroid use and abuse, but nothing is final. But regardless, and, and honestly, I think we get too wrapped up on why somebody died rather than just acknowledging the fact that, you know, someone has passed on, someone is in a better place. So we're not here to throw dirt and salt on no one's name or grave. But, you know, hopefully, oh, you heard it was hard. To, okay. But like I said, hopefully he is resting in peace, resting in power, you know, praying condolences out to the family and all that good jazz. All right. Heavy stuff out the way. So for those of y'all who are new to what it is that we do over here, he was shot. Ooh. I, I I don't I don't know what it was. I, I really don't. I, I was searching. I couldn't find anything. But for those of y'all who are new to what we do over here, we all, like I said, first and foremost, this is not just my show. This is our show. We work together. All right. I bring y'all the topics. We talk about it. But we also, actually not even we, y'all get to vote on who's going to take the W slash loser of the week and who going to, did I say W? The W is the winner of the week, the L the loser of the week. I probably got that shit mixed up. But so y'all get to vote on that. So we're going to run through these mugs. And y'all get to let me know who gonna take the L, who gonna take the W. I know some of y'all probably want to sit here and reach back to last week. <laughs> Thank you. And, you know, pull some motherfuckers from last week. But, you know, we, we starting over, you know, with a uh, brand new week. All right. And I had, like I said, because I started late, I, didn't only, I don't have a chance to grab my other glasses. But these are going to have to work. All right. So let's get into it. Let's start off with, you know, I guess we could say some, well, all of this is gossip, but some gossip. So, Real Housewives of Atlanta talk. So, of course, right now, a lot of people are signing their new contracts. I don't think, <laughs> fresh week, fresh, <laughs> um, I don't think that they have started shooting just yet, but allegedly, apparently, <laughs> yawn. Uh, Candy, Kenya, Cynthia, and Fakedra have all signed new contracts, meaning that there has been no word on Nini, Horsha, or Sheree. And I think this could possibly be because, of course, we all know Candy always gonna, <laughs> gonna have a uh, spot on there, especially now that she's just giving birth. You know what I'm saying? So I think that is why she's coming back. Kenya, because, of course, hey, her and Matt just broke up, so this is something for them to shoot and film. 
<clears throat> Cynthia, because of the never ending issue she has with Peter, and fake tra only because y'all know that Andy loves him some fake tra and love him some Aiden and uh what's the fucking other kid's name? Dylan. Okay. Okay, so they've already started shooting. <clears throat> but no words on Nene Horsha or Sheree. I got it, Yawn, but you know, just wanted to throw that out there. All right, so I'm guessing by that, I guess we just gonna move right the fuck up. <laughs> Y'all just like, no, fuck that shit. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> Ashley, no, let, let me, because I don't have my cards in any particular order. So, hold on, let me, let me do this. Let me, let me do this. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so let's talk about uh, Rachel Roy running. Okay, now y'all know that I'm not a stan for Beyonce. I do enjoy her voice. I do enjoy her music. And I'm going to just leave it there because I don't, I don't need all the B emojis and all this other shit going on. But y'all know there are moments that I don't always see it for Miss Beyonce. Now... With that being said, we all know that she dropped the Lemonade album. I'll talk about that at the very end of the show. Um, but, you know, there was that statement, Becky with the good hair. Now, you had some people that they could not leave well enough to fuck alone and decided to add more fuel to the flame, Rachel Roy being one of them. Inserting herself into shit she probably should not have inserted herself into. Well... At the CFDA Fashion Awards, she was there. I guess she was one of the first amongst other people to be there. And I guess she got news that Jay-Z... <laughs> the road runner. Oh, y'all, the start already. Yeah, this is why I fuss with y'all. But I guess uh, she heard news that Jay-Z had arrived in, the, uh, in uh, Blue Ivy. And I think somebody else did. And I think she heard putting two and three and four together and shit. And, you know, because here's the, she might not do algebra, but I guess she knows that one plus one equals two. And if Jay and Blue Ivy is there, then, of course, Beyonce is there. So she ran, like, she ran with the wind. Like, this was a run for us. Like, she got the fuck the hell out of Dodge. And I'm I'm really not for fights and shit. Now, when the shit pops up on the screen and whatnot, I'm a watch. <laughs> okay, I'm a watch. It's not right. <laughs> I'm a watch. But my thing is this. Um, there's a meme that says, thou shalt not uh, throw of shade if thou cannot throw with hands. Okay, <laughs> this shit is a trash in full effect. So with that being said, you can't be on IG and everything else talking the utmost shit. And then when it comes to your damn doorstep, you want to run the fuck now i mean let's just be honest i don't like i, I didn't watch the awards so i don't know who the, the fuck was and was not <laughs> wasn't there i don't think beyonce is the person that she need to be worried about now if solange ass was there solange would be that one that would be like oh so that so that's that bitch just saying <laughs> So I was like, all right, this was a fun, this was a funny ass story. I laughed. I, I, I laughed from a good damn place. I'm just like, you can't be sitting here, you know, talking shit. Then, then you gonna run. <clears throat> well, what was the, well, if, if that's not the reason she left, I mean, what did you hear? Cause again, this is tabloids. This is trending topics. And I wish I had some tea right now, but that ain't the point. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm just saying, cause, like I said, cause if you know of any other alleged reasons why she ran, you know, please let us know. Like, inquire reminds. Oh no, <clears throat> I'm trying. I'm trying to see how, cause it's one of those things where I think we might run through this kind of fast. Oh, she had the mercy. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, like we all know, so like <clears throat> Solange about that motherfucking life. I don't give a fuck what you say. Solange is about that life, okay? <laughs> all right, if she wouldn't have sit here and fight with Jay Z first, and here's the y'all already know that Beyonce know that Solange is crazy as shit. Because any moment, any time, you gonna sit there and regardless of the. I can't say regardless of the situation, but she stood the fuck there while Solange, because here's the thing, everybody will sit here and talk about Thomas sitting here turning to a motherfucking flying squirrel on Love Hip Hop ATL. They won't talk about that. Um, 
Did y'all forget about Solange in the motherfucking elevator and how she was on Jay-Z ass? Granted, you know, kudos to him because he ain't swing back, you know. Just say kudos. But I'm just saying, so if if Beyonce go stand there while she attacking her husband, you really think Beyonce ain't finna be sitting there with some popcorn just be like, mm, that mm, baby with the good hair, huh? She finna pull out all your motherfucking good hair, bitch. But I digress. <laughs> Let me stop being messy. Y'all know I, I ain't no fucking good. <clears throat> Alright, you guys, so let's talk about everybody's favorite um, television uh, TV personality. Not me, because this is Periscope. But Wendell Williams. Now, <clears throat> I read last week. <laughs> I know, right? But, um, Wendell Williams. Now, I had. It came across my, my feed as I was doing my research. That she was possibly going back to radio. I was just like, okay, don't really care. And I left it alone. But apparently, uh, the reason that she could... <laughs> the reason that she's possibly going back to radio, possibly, is because... <laughs> Because she is not able to book a lot of celebrities. Um, and apparently, the celebrities don't like the format in which she goes by. Which I guess other people do. But I don't think it's just the celebrities. I think it's also his other media individuals. <laughs> And it's one of those where we all know that in a lot of different organizations and a lot of different industries, even to include the one that I work in, there's politics that go along with it. And you can't always go against the grain. So she's already going against the grain herself, right? <laughs> yeah, we're not putting any on it. <clears throat> but if other celebrities go to her show knowing that you have other people in the entertainment industry that don't like how she does business they could become potentially black bald because they're going on her show. And at the same exact time, Wendell is very fucking biased in what's going on and how she does things. Because if she fucks with you, she's going to be leaning. If she don't fuck with you, she's going to go the fuck in on some real shit. Even though I'm gonna be nice. I would just love to see Beyonce sit on Wendy's couch. I don't watch Wendell, but I will watch right there. Because she goes the fuck in from what I hear on Beyonce. So, okay. She does. And I would love to see some of the people she talks shit on sit on that damn couch. I would watch for that. I really would. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I just wanted to put that out there. Oh, and also, before I continue on... You would watch it too. I'm just saying, I think we all would. She had also uh, put on her, I think it was her Instagram, that she would have, like, she has new episodes coming out, and there would be one hour long hot topics, which is nothing different than what the fuck we're doing over here, you know? But that leads you to believe that. Oh, yeah, yeah. He <laughs> sure does. But if she has an hour-long hot topic, then that further leads you to believe that she has no guests. So, I don't know. The Wendell Williams show might be in trouble. Might be in trouble. Okay, y'all, let's see. Like, again, I'm saving all of we gonna talk shit, shit, shit at the very end. Y'all know how we do it on here. Yeah, I know she said P-shaped. Okay, I'm like, hell to the no, no. <laughs> <laughs> See what y'all ask me. I'm going to just give y'all a bow of hell. All I'm going to say is this. As long as uh, Caitlyn Jenner does not come back up in this segment, especially when it comes to makeup, we are fine. Because y'all buried Caitlyn ass when it came to makeup. And now he Y'all always cutting up, so now y'all cutting up a window. I'm going to just give y'all room. I'm going to give y'all room to do what the fuck y'all do. Y'all y'all let me know when I can continue. I'm not going to stop y'all. I am not going to stop y'all. Hell, I, I'm getting my everlasting life right now. I'm just saying. Lord. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> If they take out her ass like they did take by that shit gonna be crazy. 
Ooh, Lord, Lord. <laughs> Here's the thing, you can let her live, but shit, that don't mean everybody else. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I, I think we're good. I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So we all, uh, well, I did not watch it. I truly, even the replays and it being everywhere, I did not watch the Madonna. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. I did not watch the uh, tribute that Madonna did <laughs> to Prince. I did not watch it, but I did catch uh, online as I was looking up trending topics last week how BET shaded the fuck out of the Billboard Awards talking about some, yeah, we saw, we got you. Y'all ain't right. <laughs> Y'all ain't right. So, <clears throat> of course, everybody looking at BET like, BET, please, y'all best not fuck this shit up. Well, allegedly, apparently, they already have a couple of names who I guess are locked in to do the tribute. <clears throat> so apparently Sheila E is going to do the tribute. The Roots are, I think the Roots will probably more than likely, I guess, be over the music and everything. Good afternoon. <clears throat> and yeah, they was petty as fuck, but I was so here for it. And uh, Janelle Monet is also going to be a part of the tribute, which I'm like, but and it and I also saw that there's more to come. So it appears that they are shaping this to actually be a decent ass. <clears throat> exactly. Now, I'm going to say this, though. I'm, I'm going to say this. I don't like how they're doing this. And I, I need for y'all to follow me now. Follow me now because I'm going to bless you. I think what they probably should have done is BET should have done a <clears throat> Prince tribute before the BET Awards and then did the BET Awards. Okay? <clears throat> because... Prince has had many different albums to drop. <clears throat> There's so many different eras. And what I think they should have done, D'Angelo, okay, him, okay, okay. But what I think, <laughs> they, they better not put, no, I, Lee, Lee Trey Songs out of this now. It's Lee him out, out of this and out of the damn tribute. But what I'm saying is like, have like somebody doing like a different, you know, generation or because Prince has so much music, have somebody do a different type of music. Like Janelle Monet, I can see her, you know, doing, you know, uh, like <clears throat> a very upbeat pop, you know, Prince song. Uh, get Maxwell ass in there. I can see Maxwell, you know, doing a, you know, um, <clears throat> How Come You Don't Call Me Anymore, or, you know, one of those songs, you know, get Lenny Kravitz ass up there, you know, of, of course, we can keep Sheila, like, when I say they could make this massive, just do like an hour or an hour and a half, no commercials, no fucking commercials, put people up there and just let they ass sing they ass off and then let all of them come together for one massive tribute and then let that transition into the BET Awards. I think that would probably be the best way to do it because if they don't, I get the feeling that it's going to be rushed. Okay. <laughs> y'all, here's the thing. Y'all will not disrespect the Crip Keeper like that. Okay. Compare it. No. Let, let's not do that. Let's not do that. But no, I, I, I'm so serious. Like, and and it's and it would be a beautiful pre-show where they can have the performers going, and they kind of have like another cut screen of you know people walking the muffin red carpet, whatever, or do the red carpet way early, and they just have yeah, they tales from the crib people. They were through. But I think that would be the proper way to do a Prince tribute. I really do think. I am just saying. So those are my opinions. Before we move on, how do y'all feel about the lineup? Do I mean, do y'all feel that that's good? Do y'all think they should have more people? Do y'all agree with me saying that maybe they should do a totally separate, you know, show, but have them merge? Like, what do y'all think? <clears throat> but I, I think this is shaping up to be something good. I, I really do think. Uh, 
Nina reads every motherfucking body. I mean, I'd be here for it. I shit. <clears throat> I just gotta sit back, have me a nice little drink, some of the merch on, and I'ma just watch it. I'm just watching now. <clears throat> I got it. I think with the whole Michael thing, I think because it had just happened, like it was so rushed. And my whole thing is don't like there's no need to rush anything. Like take your time and just do shit right. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. I, there, <clears throat> but there's so many people that you can sit here and throw in to do this. That's why I say that it should just be a separate show that should connect at the very end. <clears throat> Uh, exactly to even two hours yes like i think that that yeah exactly i'm just saying like i think that would be good now if bet happens to do that i'm just saying i'm gonna need bet to run me you know a nice little check on the side okay because i'm just saying you know because i think we all done did this yeah he definitely deserves a separate show but I think that for BET to get the numbers that they're going for, <clears throat> if they did it joint like that, I think that it would truly work out. Just saying. <clears throat> so, now that we did that, <laughs> Pat and Pat, <laughs> we, 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 all, we all know they ain't the same no more. So, before we truly start talking about the fuck shit, I want to talk about two good things <clears throat> first let's talk about miss anika 90 rose love her she is a great actress she is a great songstress i think that she is underrated heavily but <clears throat> she is going to not only produce but star in a biopic about politician shirley and i'm probably gonna butcher her last name but i think is uh uh, Chis Home, <clears throat> I said she is the first African American woman elected into the United States Congress. <clears throat> so and I even saw a picture. Yeah, I saw a picture of both of them, and I'm just like, okay, I can see this. And we all know that Anika can fucking act. And I think what would also be great is if they do a soundtrack to it. If Anika get her ass on the soundtrack and just sit here and just sing for eyes is one, you know what I'm saying? Like I think <clears throat> it is a great thing. So I'm all for her, you know, um, producing it. I'm and of course I'm here for her star again. And so I think that it's a beautiful thing. And I'm glad that you know we're <clears throat> choosing to um, tell stories of other African American or Black people, whichever where we want to go with, <clears throat> of other stars that we don't always readily hear—not stars, but people that we don't really readily hear about. So I am so so good for that. <laughs> okay and the very last thing before we get into the fuck shit okay <clears throat> all black women all, all the black women I, I, I think y'all were made proud this week Miss USA 2016 was won by a Deshauna Barber now first and foremost let's go ahead and clap it up for the first name Deshauna granted it is not ghetto and all the other stuff but compared to other names, y'all, it's a Deshauna. That's number one. Number two, a stunning black queen. And not just that, I have to say this, a fucking first lieutenant in the United States Army. So not only is she sitting here slaying, she's also sitting here serving and protecting. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So definitely, definitely, definitely congrats to her. They even showed, like, this pictures all over of her in that swimsuit, but also her in uniform. <clears throat> so, I mean, like I said, congrats, congrats to this woman. You know, the, even the fact that she took time out to do it. And I didn't even know about this. Like, I got to go back and actually, like, watch the <laughs> fucking Miss USA. But, to, you know, just to know that, you know, we have a black queen at one, like I said, she is also an officer in the United States Army and looks as stunning as she does. Like, <clears throat> it's a beautiful thing. It's something that we need. All right. So congrats, congrats, congrats to her. <laughs> yeah. Serving, serving the country. Wow, black. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Beautiful, beautiful thing. <clears throat> All right, y'all. 
So now that we didn't got the good stuff, like the funny stuff, the good stuff, the positive stuff, you know, out of the way, it is time to talk about fuck shit. <clears throat> and it's four things. Is it four things? Yes, it's four things we're going to talk about. So we're going to talk about Lil Mo clapping at, um, <clears throat> okay, I, I got I to gotta find it. I got to find it. Of Lil Mo uh, clapping <laughs> at uh, Taylor Swift. We're going to talk about that first. <clears throat> then we're going to transition into talking about Gilbert Arenas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> um, see, you have me over here blushing. Stop that. Stop that. Um, Gilbert Arenas and the fuck shit that he said, which it is appalling. We also have, I'm going to talk about the damn Stanford rapist. I'm going to do my damnedest to be very reserved about that. But we all know that sometimes I can get a little too passionate about shit. And going to talk about Tammy and Waka Flocka and just that fuck shit. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's first start off by talking about um, <clears throat> Limo. Okay. So pretty much, um, you know, she was um, on, I guess, uh, the most recent edition of the Fam in the Morning. Okay. <laughs> yep, it, it, that, that's exactly it. Um, and pretty much, she had some words about Taylor Swift. So they brought up the fact that, um, you know, she, Taylor Swift. <laughs> I know, right? Had just broken up with her uh, boyfriend, Calvin Harris. I actually meant to talk about this last week, but I totally fucking forgot. And Lil Mo pretty much said, um, that's going to make for a great album, but let's talk about bacteria vaginosis. You keep on switching out. Your pH is going to be all out of pocket. So Miss Swift. I want you to slow that thing on down. Bring that thing to a halt. <laughs> you know the Metro cuts off at midnight. And also says, uh, Miss Swift, cross your legs. No, beca no, because always talk about the Kardashians and everyone else saying, uh... He's live. He be winning. Taylor Swift, you are a thought. I don't care about what anybody says. That's a thought. Yep. Look, 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 most said all that. I, I really want to give y'all room because I think y'all going to say everything that I'm even thinking about saying. <laughs> Now, when I read this, I, I did get upset. Exactly. You you, you said it best, uh, T.D. Bonner, that yes, yeah, she does have, like, have a child with every person that she has gotten with and lucked up to getting married by the most recent motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? So my whole thing is, and I, I'm going to just say it. She reminds me of that born again Christian, that you know, female type that is sat here and threw that ass in all types of circles, triangles, parallelograms, hyperboles, and all this other shit. Like she didn't threw her ass in a motherfucking quadratic equation and all this other stuff. Like, this is the type of woman, you know, y'all, y'all know the motherfucking church woman that I'm talking about, the one that has sat here and did all of this fuck shit, but decide I'ma sit here and give my life to the Lord. So now I'm on now I'm in the church house, you know, so we gonna pretend as if everything I did in the past ain't fucking up. Yes, I said quadratic fucking equation and shit. And now you you sitting in the motherfucking pew and you want to sit here and judge the next motherfucker walking down the aisle who ain't did even a fraction of the shit that your ass done fucking did. I don't give a fuck. Personally, I don't give a fuck who the fuck Taylor Swift date. I mean, I want her to get some damn vocal lessons. But here's the thing. If every nigga she date equals a motherfucking platinum selling album, we ain't said shit to Adele. Adele fucking used her breakup and gave y'all asses motherfucking, was it, what was it, 21? We ain't say shit to Adele. Okay. But my thing is, I don't give a fuck who Taylor Swift is fucking. I don't care if she busting that pussy wide the fuck open. Here's the thing. 
She ain't got all these motherfucking kids. She is doing her, and whatever she is doing, it is healthy. She ain't got nobody infected with shit, and she still has a pretty decent fucking body. Unlike you, you sit here and have a fucking voice, but we ain't heard shit from your motherfucking, you know. Y'all that got me started. I'm, okay. Bring it back. <laughs> I'm going to give y'all room. I'm, I'm going to get a flow back to y'all because... <clears throat> Whew. Okay. <laughs> I'm playing no more. <laughs> I got the whole... Oh, shit. Okay, I am so sorry because I, I, I done went too far left, y'all. <laughs> I think she can still do something. Yeah, she be pussy popping on the handstand. She, mm hmm mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's just walk away from this fuckery. What's well, the end thing? We can walk away from this fuckery, but there's still more fuckery to come. Okay, I just thought that we should talk about this. Like, how can you sit here and talk about bacterial vaginosis? You want to sit here and clock the mouths on somebody else's pussy when I'm pretty sure your pussy got frequent fly mouths. Like, I don't understand. Like, who does that? Who? I, I I don't know. That, that that was that was her last fucking hit. Lord have mercy. Okay, I I I guess we all agreed to move on. You know, just just I mean, yeah, we want to sit here and talk. Here's the we want to talk about pussies flying out of bodies. As Mimi like to say, can somebody check hers, please? Check. Okay. All right. <sighs> Okay, net net the next fucking thing. That that shit. That that done woke me out, y'all. That done woke me out. <clears throat> Got the woman's draws. <laughs> I swear y'all be going to fucking <laughs> big <quicks. laughs> Again, as I say unto y'all. This right here, this is not my show. This is our show. <laughs> oh, I fucking love you guys. I like a vortex. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, okay. All right. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and um. Y'all still cut up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> you know, the crazy thing is, when I upload this to YouTube, <clears throat> I don't, I swear, I, I, I think she really gonna get her ass handed to her on YouTube when people finally get to this portion of the fucking trending topics, you know. I'm just saying, but if you live in a glass house, again, you need not throw stones, okay? You just need not throw stones. Just say. Okay, <clears throat> but let's go ahead and talk about... <laughs> Two more years, who I swear I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, sugar. I swear, oh my gosh, y'all are something the fuck else. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Alright, for real, we're switching topics. Okay, alright, so Gilbert Arenas, y'all, Gilbert Arenas. So, what happened is, and I actually read this on the, oh no, I don't know, oh fuck, my damn cards and flew away. So, I read this, well not read, I, um, the Breakfast Club actually, um, it wasn't an interview, but they found um, a uh, clip. Well, it wasn't a clip. Um, Glory was it Gloria? Is it? It's a Gloria. Laura Govan. She, um, I guess, had recorded a conversation that they had had tried to use it in court. It didn't work, but some way, somehow, it made it to the Breakfast Club. So they played it. <clears throat> and it was a conversation of uh, both Laura and um, Gilbert going the fuck at it. 
<clears throat> and at one point he said, fuck the case. And then he said, fuck you and them four kids. <clears throat> Before I even get on to the story time that I have right here on my tablet, he got so mad at his baby mama that you sit here and say, fuck you and them four kids. Now, if you guys <clears throat> want, y'all can find it. Like, I don't have it pulled up because it's a long ass interview. Y'all can go find it. But I was like, really? It's one thing to say, fuck you. Fuck the fucking horse you rode in here on. You didn't say fuck. I, you said fuck them. So it's one of those where you're not even claiming the kids as your own, bruh. Fuck you and them for kids. Before I say anything, I'm, I'm going to give y'all a minute. Re yeah, you hear retard. Well, I'm going to read some shit that he didn't have with his fingers and shit. Yeah, I mean, last week we talked about ain't shit mama, so I guess this week we're going to talk about ain't shit daddies. Or this ain't shit father. No, he a he daddy, he ain't a father. I, mm -mm. Now, I could have been an asshole and saved this story for next week <laughs> to have a Father's Day <laughs> edition. <laughs> But no, I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I think that will be all types of fucking wrong. Oh, ah, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he's, I think he's well past an asshole. And his even thing on IG is no dot chill gill. So he already let you know he has no chill factor. You know, <laughs> we can totally read this. Now, my thing is, it's one thing to have such disdain for your baby mama. I'm still tripping on the fact that you said, fuck them for kids. I'm like, and it's one of those where I think we all know that this was not going to end well. Because he, if I'm not mistaken, he was made the donkey of the day. I'm pretty sure y'all probably looking at me like uh, T. Smilly. He deserves a motherfucking L of the motherfucking week shit. <laughs> oh, it's going to be all the way fucked. Definitely uncalled for. So this is when we need to go ahead and have our story time. <clears throat> and I probably should have brought some water over here because damn it, I got a lot of shit to read. But fuck it, we, we, we going to make it through. So he says, there is a video recorded of me saying, fuck my kids. Yes, I said it. Not in the meaning as a hashtag dad be dad, but the meaning of a man who was frustrated of fighting a evil, if we're going to proper English, motherfucker, an evil demon every day. <laughs> And I was letting her know not even the kids will save you. She thinks she can leverage me and the kids. She uses the kids to fight her battles. Me saying fuck the kids <clears throat> ain't the real problem because you can tell in my angry, I guess he meant anger. I'm sorry, tell that I'm angry, sorry, about something. But the calm person randomly recording is the problem. She tried using this recording in court back in hashtag March 2015. But like the judge said, he <clears throat> what he said is very wrong, but I can see something is bothering him. But what's the intention of you recording him? So the judge slapped Laura with a no contact, no calls, no text, no email order. Like the last just said, Laura just don't get it. She needs to wake up. She fights. <clears throat> She's fighting to win everyone's opinion. I'm winning court battles. <clears throat> Hashtag 26 and 0. I, I know. I, I, I saw that too. She, uh, she's not even fighting me anymore. She's fighting the judge. You leak a video to the hashtag breakfast club because you lost. Do you win your lawsuit back? 
hashtag no the saddest part is if you gave as much energy to our kids maybe they would have fun with you not fun at parties and you're there but actual random fun as a family <laughs> again there, there's a lot here y'all here's our kids hashtag musically account try being involved in their lives just a little hashtag penny love 1209 hashtag felicia underscore isa hashtag where's waldo our daughter had played on all on an all girls basketball team for the last five weeks three of the weeks have been on your watch and you seem to miss all 12 of her games so far my son wears hashtag zero because of course he wants to be just like me basketball player <clears throat> my daughter picked number one in basketball because i wore it in orlando she picked number 25 in the volleyball because I'm still not getting all this, but okay, that was my high school number. <clears throat> Shouldn't she want to be like her mom and not like her dad? Lord doesn't get, okay, y'all get where the fuck this shit going, right? Okay, I'm, I'm not going to continue to read all this fuck shit. Then he goes on to, of course, you know, post pics of the kids and shit, got most shit to say and shit, and the family and shit. <clears throat> and then he even goes so far as to address the breakfast club because he was considered the donkey of the day. And I'm going to go ahead and read that for y'all right quick. Because I'm not finna, I'm, I'm choosing not to read all the other shit because we're going to be here all fucking day. <clears throat> I'm on your ass like this at Shy the God. I'm... I'm about to ride yo hashtag donkey ass all through the courtroom. A no more hashtag breakfast club. That shit about to be the hashtag open 24 hours club. Yo ass about to be working all the fuck day and night fighting against my stupid. FYI, I'm the type of nigga that will spend 200,000K to win a 2,000 judgment. Hashtag petty king. And yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. So this is pretty much him saying how the fuck he's going to ride Charlemagne. Because he was considered to be the donkey of the day. Well, this motherfucker has decided to, you know, I guess take the high road and be the bigger man about this. Because he also goes and writes this long as IG post pretty much stating... <laughs> That he's going to take the high road. So he's not going to do anything. He's just going to take the high road. My thing is this, bro. Regardless of what is going on, what happens, he does need to find something to do immediately. Yeah, and it's truly sad the kids are involved. The only thing that Charlemagne really was saying is just that, <clears throat> you know, how can like you're so mad at it's not that it's like you're mad at her, but you said fuck her and the kids. So it's almost like you don't even love your kids and your hatred for this woman is so strong. It's like your love for your children should be stronger for the hate that you have for this woman. And he's met and you know, Charlemagne pretty much said that you know what? Yeah, I'm about to make him the donkey of the day. The only thing is it wasn't him that brought this to the table. If I'm not mistaken, it was Angela Yee that brought it to the table. And I'm and I, I'm not saying that Charlemagne was wrong in in any way, shape, or form. But you know, <clears throat> that was that shit. So before I move on to Tammy and Walker, because again, I think we all agree that don't nobody give a fuck about Tammy and Walker breaking up. But <clears throat> how do y'all feel about that stupid, stupid fuck shit and that fuck boy? Again, I, I still can't get past the fact that you said fuck you and them four kids. Just like Again, some people just need not recreate. And I don't give a fuck how angry you get or how stressful a situation gets. You should never say that. Now again, you have to question Laura because you are so calm during all this because she knew she was recording his ass. She knew that. And of course, you could, it's one of those where, okay, you pro probably pushed him to that point. But at no point should you ever fix your lips to say fuck your children. And of course, we're in a, yeah, and we're in a day and age where 
this shit is not going to die. Social media, like I said, we have the internet. This shit is going to be somewhere. Your kids, if they haven't already heard this, they're going to hear you say fuck them. So, I don't know how he's going to combat that. I don't, I don't know if he has enough money to sit here and, you know, erase those words for penetrating their ears, okay? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I, I do miss, it's not even just social media, but it's also the internet. You know, like th it, this is not going to die. This is going to be somewhere, you know, so the kids are going to hear this. And, you know, like I said, if we're going to keep it 1000, fuck Laura, fuck Gilbert, you know, let's think about these four kids. And it upsets me that they do these things. And it's like, it's like neither one of them are thinking about the kids, you know? You, well, you you right you you right so we're gonna move on like i said there's a lot of fuck shit i try to give y'all all the entertaining shit before we even fuck shit y'all so tammy and walker now i know a lot of y'all gonna be like don't nobody give a fuck but there's certain things that i want to address oh there's a live stream going on right now oh okay i'll check that out later but um <clears throat> Tammy, and th going back to the whole social media things, ex ex and this is going to, this finna tie right the fuck into it. So Tammy gonna put a picture up on her IG saying, not everyone you lose is a lot, unless it's me, then you fucked up. With the, uh, I guess, tongue out emoji and painting of the fingernail. Yeah, yeah, they, they. Now, I can believe this post because shit, I feel that way. I feel that I'm a fucking catch. Whether we friends or if we, you know, lovers or whatnot. So if you lose me, yeah, you probably didn't fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? But it's cryptic. It's cryptic. So you had somebody, uh, I guess, I don't know if they sent this directly to her, it was did a button, but it says Waka is lucky. She go at that person said was lucky. Now right there you didn't have to do that nobody needed to know that y'all are no longer together so i'm trying to figure out are you doing this because you want more people to watch the show love and hip-hop like i because it's like she really don't have anything going on the show you feel me and then it says if you catch yo nigga with the same bitch he ain't cheating they build a boo. Now, this is not what she posted. This is what uh, Simone Patton, the alleged side chick, posted as a way to, you know, rub it in Tammy. You feel what I'm saying? And Simone Patton also says when his girl posts and say five years strong, but been unfaithfully fucking him for three. And oh, and her uh, and there was an Instagram picture at the bottom. It says hashtag side bitch of the year. Yeah, yeah. They they stay delusional. They they stay delusional. And then <clears throat> Tammy goes and posts this. Now it is a picture. I'm pretty sure this is probably um one of the uh, love and hip hop pictures or um you like steals from the uh, trailer that they did. And she says, y'all listen, and please listen clear. I will not speak on this situation again. First, let me say, you should have never, well, one, you're not speaking, you're typing, but you should have never brought this to the light in the first place. Because, again, nobody needs to know that y'all going through y'all shit. Now, I, you know, before I read this, Tammy has clapped at some fucking people for even trying to go in on Waka because they still have love for each other. <laughs> well, we live in a world now where, hey, it's it's okay to be that side bitch, okay? It used to be a time where you did your dirt, but, you know, it was one of those, you know, as we lay type of things. But, you know, that is, mo most youngins ain't gonna know about that. <clears throat> but continue, she says, me and Waka separation had nothing to do with anyone. Waka did not leave me for anyone, LOL. We made a mutual decision that we needed to separate. 
Sometimes people use other people's lives to prey off and get attention. I guess for IG likes or follows. It's very sad, but it's the truth in the world we live in. Walker is a great man and father of my child. <clears throat> we all make mistakes and learn from them. But please don't listen to these attention seekers. Just pray for them. Y'all have a blessed day. Yeah. Now... Waka has something to say, which is going to spark Simone to come back and say some shit. I, I know. And again, I don't know why we both. So I'm going to try to pull this back a little bit. Y'all really don't have to see it. More or less just here. But this is what Flogger had to say. If it plays. Is it going to play? Girl in the world. He ain't excited you don't tell me. This bitch is a fucked up week. You need to believe anything. That shit's sad. And this whole on Instagram's on side, bitch, over here. But you look disgrace. Y'all dumbass niggas is following the kind of... It's probably the best this bitch ever did. Crazy, man. This internet shit is crazy. This shit make y'all niggas believe anything. I need to start posting random shit, man. Y'all niggas gonna believe everything, now. <laughs> shit. Shit. All good, though, man. Just to keep it all gangster. Me and Tammy just split apart. Nobody cheating on nobody. Nobody's mad at nobody. We just grew to our differences. I'll take the end of the hype all that way. I'm telling y'all right now, I love her, still love her. It's my nigga, that's my best friend. I still fucking nigga about that. Out of every girl in the world. Yeah. And that was it. So, that is what he had to say addressing the whole thing. Even saying how, you know, she even said that she is, you know, side chick of the year. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure there was some infidelity and whatnot. And at the same exact time, if y'all recall, um, Tammy even saying on Love and Hip Hop this past week how, you know, if we had the same ideals, he wouldn't have half the shit that he did to me. And, of course, Miss Deb had to shut that shit up right quick like, oh, long. not today. All right, well, Miss Simone Patton went on to say some old shit. What did she say? This is what she said. Walker, don't force me to post these pics of us in the bed together while Tammy was calling you over and over and you had your phone on the floor. Let's not forget you came at me in the club. You brung me back to the W right in Old Town. Don't deny shit when I have proof. Ask Tammy how I know she tried FT you over and over and even oh i guess I, I guess ft is fucked or whatever qualm to have him show her proof nobody was in the room you want me to keep going you want me to post these videos i'm the only reason you and tammy are on a quote-unquote break you are oh facetime oh okay 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 again like i said i'm i I be on social media, but I'm not really on social media. Like I, I don't, I don't know these motherfucking social media acronyms and shit. You know, I think TFS. I think I, that's thanks for sharing. You know, I think I just learned that the other day. Like I know, I know it's horrible. I'm, I'm here to give y'all the fucking news and I, sad. It's sad. So when this was all said and done. Side piece of the year had a change of heart, so to speak, and said, I made a mistake by being involved with Waka, I will admit. One night of fun turned into months of drama. Yada, 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 blah, 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 the shit is over with. Nothing more needs to fucking be said, but again, you know, I guess being that side bitch or whatever, or side nigga or whatever, is being romanticized, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, it was the Wild Woods. And I mean, it even started with Pleasure P doing his video called Boyfriend Number Two. And it's like, just hiding the whole fact of fuck it. We're going to be proud to be the number two. And what I found to be so funny is fuck around with somebody that still has that old school mentality. Because here's the thing there's a lot of dudes and a lot of women that know that they partner be out there cheating. But they have that mentality of as long as that shit don't come to my doorstep, I don't give a fuck. You can fuck whoever the fuck you want to fuck, but leave that shit out there. And as fucked up as it is, you have some of them that be like, you know what, when the smoke clears, you were just flavor of the month. 
But like I said, they still got me. I still got the ring and all this other shit. Now, granted, really no way to live, but you have some people that be like that. You feel what I'm saying? I know a lot of old school fools that in the back of their mind, they know they being cheated on, but because they don't see it and it's not a reality, they don't accept it as one. And I even think Tammy had even said, I don't know if it was that, but somebody had said something along the lines of, if that person loves you enough, they would keep that shit up. Whatever. Okay, we over here about to sit here and give fucking side pieces validation. It's not why the fuck we here, damn it. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I Well, my thing is this. On some real shit, if you really feel that you need to step out on me, just do me that favor and just be like, yeah, it's over. Or I can't. You, you feel me? Like, don't, don't do, don't, don't make me sit here and catch a case and shit. You know, don't. No, no. But let's move on to the very last thing that I'm going to talk about. And I will give you guys all the floor in the world. Because, again, I know most of those who that rock with me happen to be female. And I know y'all got a lot of shit to say. So let's talk about the Stanford Rapist. So he need not have a name. We we not finna give him a name today. But apparently he is or was a swimmer. Okay. And one night partying, a girl was drunk. I guess she was unconscious. I don't some dang on the note. And he commenced to having sex with this woman. Un and like I said, she. <laughs> oh, bastard. Oh, oh I, I guess that's the best word to use. Bastard. Okay. I'm just saying, like, I'm not going to. I don't, I don't want to sit here and, like, give light to this person because he's less of a fucking person. But he commenced to having sex. Like I said, she is totally blacked out and all of this other stuff. And it was two men that knew of the situation that decided to come forth and. And pretty much put the shit out there and identify this individual. Now, when this shit first popped off, I see a picture of a guy in a blue fucking suit with a smile on his face. And I'm just like, rape it? What? Like, something wasn't clicking. It wasn't clicking. And I'm just like, and I just let it pass me on by. I'm just like, okay, I'm not even going to address this. <laughs> but then it was just like okay I started to see more hear more and I'm just like and then the actual mug shot was shown I'm just like aha aha and what is so fucked up is and like I say if I have anybody on here watching me that is not, that happens to not be black or colored you may disagree with what I'm about to say and that's perfectly fine we can agree to disagree as long as we keep the shit cute but I, I love how it is when, you know, black folk, now I'm going to take it all the way to foot back, when colored folk, and when I say colored, I mean anybody that got some complexion going on, I love how when something goes on with them, they try to find the most degrading picture that they can to depict people of color. But when it comes to anybody of fair fucking skin, they want to sit here and pick the most angelic picture that they possibly fucking can. So you have this boy who just violently raped someone. And if I'm not mistaken, I guess left her ass there. Violently raped this woman. And y'all want to sit here and put a collegiate picture of him smiling up like that is how you're going to depict this guy as a fucking rapist? Okay. Alright, I guess so. But... We also have this guy named Brian Banks. He was accused of brutally raping a woman. I think it was, I think this is what, like seven years ago or some shit like that. He had served five, actually, before I say that, this young, this, this bastard, I guess that's his name. He was initially facing six years. The shit was dropped down to six months. It's even rumored that he's even going to serve three months now. 
Now, going back to what I was saying, Brian Banks, black guy, accused of violently raping a woman, had to serve five years. Then had five years of probation. He was able to get the woman that accused him on tape where she admitted that she the shit was completely fucking false. But this is after he had already been labeled as a sex offender and already served five years. But this black man who was accused, no proof of violently raping a woman, had to serve five fucking years. But this guy who... Is not black. He's fucking white. Call the shit what the fuck it is. He was looking at 10. Is only seeing 6. And again, I hear that he's possibly only going to serve 3 fucking years. Can anybody say privilege? Can, can anybody fucking say that? We all know that the fucking justice system is fucking crooked. We all know this. But he, again, this guy fucking raped. Yes, I heard 3 months raped. Now, I'm going to read to y'all a letter that his fucking father, this punk son bitch. Mm -hmm. This is what the fuck they write. As it stands, bastards, life has been deeply altered forever following the events of January 17th to 18th. So you mean to tell me that this motherfucking woman? Who was raped, treated like fucking property, like a fucking towel, like some fucking tissue that he wiped his ass with and threw the fuck away. His life is deeply fucking altered. Real? No, I'm, I'm reading it right now. Really? His life is deeply fucking altered. Where she wakes up to people in her fucking vest trying to sit here and take out the fucking semen and whatnot so they can charge this motherfucker where when she is being addressed by newspapers and shit, she ain't even being addressed by her fucking neck. Really? His life has been deep. Okay. All right. Okay. He will never be his happy-go-lucky. Bitch, why the fuck we could... I got it. This is your kid. This is what's fucked up with people. Where they want to stand with somebody in the midst of them being fucking wrong. He ain't going to be his happy-go-lucky self. What the fuck about... Okay. With that easy-going personality and welcoming smile, his every waking minute is consumed with worry, anxiety, fear, and depression. So we're not concerned with what the fuck she going through, but that's okay. That's cute. You can see this in his face. Fuck his face. The way he walks. You know what? Fuck the way he walks. Better yet, if he only serves three years, they better, y'all, they better hope and pray he is not in general pop. Because they, because here's the thing. His face, oh, you, oh, it's gonna be some shit on his motherfucking face, all right. Go catch a fade in that motherfucking face, all right. The way he walks, oh, he gonna have a motherfucking walk, all right. Bitch ass motherfucker. His weakened voice, oh, his voice gonna be real weak. Lack of appetite, okay. All right. Should I continue reading? Should I just get to that one line that pissed everybody? Y'all, should, should I just keep reading the shit and give y'all just fucking commentary? I, ooh, ooh, I, I know he won't be. In, I know he won't be in general pop. Just that one line, okay. Okay. Oh, read it. Oh, y'all, read it. Oh, y'all want? Okay. All right. This gonna make me mad. Bitch motherfucker always enjoy certain types of food <clears throat> and is a very good cook himself. It's only going to be one type of food his ass going to be getting. He going to... Yeah, real stop. Be nice. Be nice. I was always excited to buy him a big ribeye to grill. Oh, he going to get a big ass ribeye and they going to be grilled though or to get his favorite snack for him. I had to make sure to hide some of my favorite pretzels or chips because I knew they wouldn't be around long after that bitch ass son, bitch that I call a motherfucking son, walked in from a long swim practice. Now he can barely consume any food and eats only to exist. These verdicts have broken and shattered him and our family in so many ways. His life will never be the one that he dreamed about and worked so hard to achieve. <laughs> Mm. Exactly. Still in yeah, exactly. <laughs> but here's the line. 
that is a steep price to pay for 20 minutes of action out of his 20 plus years of life. I'm not going to read the rest of this. I'm not. I'm not. <clears throat> really? For a steep price to pay for 20 minutes? Really? I, what, what, what about... You know, somebody who's sitting here, you know, trying to sling a little something for the very first time and get caught with some heavy motherfucker for a five minute tr transaction. This motherfucker finna get put away for 20 fucking years, but you want to say complain about. And here's the thing. Didn't nobody tell him to sit here and take his damn dick out of his pants and to sit here and penetrate some fucking body. But again. They said, fuck this young woman. What she went through don't matter. This shit is disgusting, y'all. This shit is fucking disgusting. Oh, of course he'd have messed her life up. And how? And here's the thing, and, and I hope and pray this doesn't happen, but if she decided to take her own life, I guarantee fucking tea you, they will find a way to flip that and even try to use that to get his senses reduced down to a fucking two weeks. I can fucking guarantee you. But this is the fucking world that we live in. And this right here reminds me of the olden days where, unfortunately, women's lives were not fucking valued. I know, right? I, I, I fucking know. I fucking know. They will. They will. They will definitely make this her fault. But what I will say is, regardless, I mean, I have to get I have to clap my hands to the two gentlemen that saw this, saw that it was wrong and step forward to say something. It, at least we have some, you know, good people in the world. Some people with some type of standards, morals, values, something. And that's that's it, y'all. I, 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 I got some congrats. We're going to vote on the loser and the fucking winner of the week. And then we're going to get the fuck out of here because I swear this shit didn't woe me all the way the fuck out. All the way the fuck out, y'all. <sighs> so... Three congrats to get out of the way. First, Beyonce's Lemonade album has gone platinum. If I'm not mistaken, this is her sixth album to go platinum. Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, Queen Latifah, Jada Pickett, and Regina Hall have been casted in a flick called Girls Trip. So, I don't know if it's going to be a good movie or not, but hey, they're going to get paid for what they contribute. So, you know, get your coins, get your coins, get your coins. Even if she is overrated again, I say congrats to her, regardless of how overrated she may be, okay? I, we read the congrats part right now. And finally, I don't know who we going, who we happy for more, but congrats to Amber Rose and Wiz Khalifa. Their divorce is now final. So she has been awarded $15,000 a month in child support. In addition to the $1 million cash settlement that was in their prenuptial agreement, Wiz Khalifa is going to keep his home and his 10 cars. Now, I don't know <laughs> who we need to sit here and congratulate more, whether it be Amber for pretty much walking away with one meal off top and getting $15,000 a month or Wiz for keeping his damn house and his 10 cars. But what I will say is this, though, no matter what you say about Amber, Amber could have sat here and taken his ass to the fucking bank. But okay, here's that one meal we agreed upon, the prenuptial agreement. Okay, $15,000 a month for child support, fine by me. I got approval, but what I'm saying is she could have got she could've, she could have got more than $15,000 a month. Okay. <laughs> it is exact celebrate it's, but it's one of those things just like they mutually just like all right we're done we're not gonna make this thing uglier than what the fuck it needs to be and regardless of what you say it's bad when the stonehead and the motherfucking stripper got most sense than some of these other motherfuckers out here in the world okay so that is all that i had and i don't even have a fucking pen over here well, fuck it, we gonna freestyle it i don't have a pen but let us vote on who gonna take the first who gonna take that the loser of the week 
I think the two main motherfuckers is that Rapey Bastard and Gilbert Arenas. I think those are the two main mother, or even Lil Mo. I think those are the three main people for the L of the week. What y'all think? Y'all think one of them should take it? Y'all think somebody else should take it? What, what y'all think? Tell me what you think. I want to know. <laughs> Rapey ass, rape boy. <laughs> Okay, we we get we got we got two for 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 that for that rape motherfucker. <laughs> that, oh, I get I okay I I guess that's it. Just okay, so I guess we're we'll come, well, I guess we'll revisit it. But right now we got two for you know rapey boy. That's some bitch. So who's going to take the W of the week? I mean, let's see. We got um. <laughs> Another one for the rape dude. Uh, Anika 90 Rose, possibly. Raped Miss USA 2016. I don't know. I mean. <laughs> um. So, I mean, so so who going who gonna to take the. I mean, it could be, you know, Wiz and fucking Amber for, you know, being adults and shit. Okay, two, two for, for. Okay, Miss USA. All right. So. I guess the way that this is looking. <laughs> okay, okay, so y'all let me know if, if I got this correct. So the person taking the L this week is the Stanford fucking rapist. And the W of the week is gonna be the Black Queen Miss USA. Did, did I capture that correctly? Can can we all agree upon that? <laughs> All right, y'all. So I think that is it. That is it for right now. That is it for this week. I want to say thank you all for joining, for watching. Y'all know that we do this every Sunday unless uh, some shit pop up. So hopefully next week give us some more good shit. Hopefully we can laugh more next week because this shit was kind of draining. So that is all that I have for y'all. I really want to thank y'all for coming on in. What about her? <laughs> I mean, I mean, what about her? It, it, it's, it's the reason that I ain't talking about him. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and transcribe this. This should be up on YouTube, if not by, right, if not tonight, by tomorrow. But again, okay. But, <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Like I said, this wouldn't be what it is without y'all. All right, so y'all know we do this every week. And, uh, yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I don't foresee anything popping off next Sunday, so I will see you guys then. So y'all have a uh, blessed, blessed Sunday. Have a great week, and I will see you guys next Sunday. All right, y'all. Peace.